This video will cover Empower Connect Diagnostics menu. The diagnostic screen is the first screen that will appear when connected to an EMP system or controller. Starting on the left hand side, the green connected banner lets the user know they are connected to an EMP system or controller and at a specific address which is down here on the bottom right hand side. Next door to the connected banner is the fault status banner. This banner identifies whether or not there are active faults, pending faults, or no faults at all. When there are active faults, the banner will turn red. When they are pending faults, the banner will be yellow. And when there are no faults at all, the banner will be green. Moving down into the left, there is the state column. This identifies whether or not a diagnostic code is active, pending, or previously active. Moving to the right, we have the code column, which identifies the diagnostic code in a numeric value. Next, we have the count column. This identifies how many times a diagnostic code has occurred. Finally, we have the fault description. This gives a description of the diagnostic code. By clicking on one of the diagnostic fields, I can highlight a specific diagnostic code. Once highlighted, information on that diagnostic code will appear in the center. This gives specific information on the selected diagnostic code. Starting in the top middle, the numeric value of the diagnostic code is in the top box. Right below the top box, I have the description of the diagnostic code. The next box down is the controller time, which is displayed in hours. Time since first refers to the first time the diagnostic code was recorded in hours. Time since last refers to the last time there was an occurrence of the diagnostic code. Now these two numbers will be different if there is an additional count other than one. So if there is two, the count will be different as well as the hours between the first occurrence and the last occurrence. Percent of time active since first occurrence gives me the percentage value of active time since the first time that diagnostic code occurred. The troubleshoot button allows for quick access to the troubleshooting manual. Here, further diagnosis can occur. In the bottom box, there are troubleshooting tips to further the troubleshooting process. The clear button on the left hand side clears any previously active diagnostic codes. These codes are saved in the history of the thermal management controller. The refresh button refreshes all of my counts and timers. Below my clear and refresh button, I have my information bar. On the left side, I have my license information, USR, meaning user. Next, the control platform is displayed. This is the hardware and software configuration, also used to identify the troubleshooting manual. The current software calibration is displayed yet. Next, the data link adapter is displayed in the center, telling me which data link adapter is currently connected to the system or thermal management controller. The last box is the controller area network address for the system. Lastly, on the right side, the fans and the numbers are displayed, starting with the lowest number on the top left-hand side and the highest number on the bottom right. If there are any questions, please contact service at emp 
www.ethereum-corp.com.